Marcus Rashford scores the only goal, and David De Gea comes up big again. Yeah. Manchester United are back in the top four with a 1 0 win over Brentford. Jules, was this the reaction Eric Ten Hag was looking for after that car crash at the weekend? It was it was good. It was a good game, I felt I thought overall. I still think that Casemiro missing is huge, and you saw it again yesterday. I mean Savitza is involved on the goal. But come on. Him and McTominay is just not the same. It's it's pretty it's just grim not the same. when you go and through one by one. I know, exactly. And I think they just it, they just have to do with to, to do with without Casemiro and then hope for the best because they can't just play as well with without him than they do with him. But it's a big win. It's a very important win for the top four race because that was getting, you know, um, tight. But certainly after what we saw against Newcastle and Brentford are good. Uh, it was it was it was the perf- certainly the result that Ten Hag would have wanted, maybe more than the performance anyway. Newcastle stay third with a resounding 5-1 win away to oh, West Ham. Yeah. Jules, they're not going away, are they? No, they're not, and they're actually playing better and better. We saw them very convincingly beating Manchester United, then they go away to West Ham, who are not good and you know have a manager that should not be there anymore. Point but still, idea. to go and, and, and play the way they did, they score five goals, Isaac, Callum Wilson, you know, everybody uh tuning in it was was great great to see and they are very much in command i think for that top four finish this was back on monday but tottenham hotspur drew 1-1 away to everton with new interim boss christian stellini jules did the players look any less selfish i don't know if they look less selfish but i didn't see any difference really guy between what we saw before conte was sacked and what we saw against everton which was not a good performance from spurs they they almost got a win and I think it would have been a lucky win, to be fair, especially after the red card from the Kura. And you can agree or not with Harry Kane rolling over on the floor and what the Kura did, etc., etc. But in the end, they didn't play well and they don't deserve to win that game. Full stop. It's as simple as that. Not much change. You'd almost think that Cellini had been the first team coach yeah, all along. exactly. Leicester City lose at home to Aston Villa on Tuesday night, but there's a new manager on his way with Grant Potter not available. The leading candidates for now are Rafa Benitez and Adi Hutter. Who do you like best? I think I know. <laughs> Who do I like best in terms of being a fun night out? Uh, <laughs> no, look. Uh, by the way, you know what Adi's real name is. It is what you think yes, it is. Yes, yes. And that's why we he goes We keep it to Adi. Adi. It's much better. Yeah. I, I do wonder when your name is, when your last name is Hutter, sounds a lot like something else. I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what his parents were thinking. Anyway. <laughs> um, I use Rafa Benitez. It's Rafa Benitez because Adi Hutter is a very good coach, but... He, you need preseason. Yeah. It's a different way of playing from the Completely. way Brendan Rodgers does. Uh, Rafa Benitez comes in, Mr. Fix-It, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know, I think he can be more of a short-term impact, and that's what they need right now because they're in the relegation zone. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.